Welcome back, welcome back. So, today we're going to do uh, a paint splatter manicure using the eye glow colors from the Dollar Tree. And I've picked pink, purple, blue, orange, and green. No yellow, no light blue or anything like that because I only have five fingers. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you how to work with these because these are a little tricky. If you don't work fast enough, you don't pick up the image properly and it can be a lesson in frustration. So um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is paint your nails. And so I have two coats of LA colors, just plain old white. I think it's 402 or something like that. And uh, two coats of that with a quick dry top coat so that we can stamp quickly. And so you wanna have your station all set up and ready to go so that you can work quickly. So I've got my paper towel down. I already did a little bit of uh, swatching just to make sure I, you know, had a good technique and uh, troubleshoot any of the colors that I have chosen and everything seems to work fine. Um, have your acetone with your cotton ball on top ready to go close by as well as your little cotton claw or your little clip. All right. Um, so we're going to get started. Uh, so we'll start with our pinky right here and um, let's see what color shall we start off with? first. Let's do pink. All right, so you want to give it a good shake, just a nice little shake, just to make sure it's all mixed well. Nothing too crazy, okay? Um, make sure you have your scraper ready. And then what you're gonna do is, like I said, work quickly. So, what I usually do when I use this type of nail polish is I really kind of coat the image. And with regular stamping polish, you only need a little bit. But with this, I kind of want to coat the image as much as possible. A gentle scrape pick up super fast and drop it down. Give it a nice little tap, tap, tap. Very good. And the first one's done. We'll just use our little lint roller and clean off our little stamper. And then the next thing we're gonna do is get a little tape. Clean off the extra here. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's coming off pretty easily. Let's move that tape around a little bit. Very nice. Seems to be coming off not too difficult. And the rest we can get later if we have to. Of course, I'm gonna keep fiddling with it until I'm happy. All right, I'm happy. Okay, first nail's done. So you see how quick that was? It was boom, boom, boom. And on the nail, real fast. Very nice, good. So now we're gonna move on. Let's close up our nail polish. We don't want it to dry out, get too thick. And then let's do blue. Let's do the blue. All right, so we take our cotton ball, our little cotton claw, or our little clip. We're gonna give that a nice wipe down, just like that. 
to the side and go in with the purple. Or did I say blue? I said blue. <laughs> So we're gonna give the blue a nice light little shake. Nothing crazy. I already shook this one a little bit, so it's good to go. All right, let's paint that on our image. Kind of work it into the image a little bit. A nice generous amount. And then a nice light scrape. Drop it down. And you can use any angle you want. And just tap it down. Very nice. Clean off our stamper. And a piece of tape. You see how easy that was. It, like, took hardly any effort whatsoever. Wow, that piece is just not gonna come off very easily. It's gonna give me a hassle. So, we'll just stop right there, save myself the frustration, right? So, you see how they look a little different? And you can take your stamper and you can turn it, you know, on each finger, do a different angle, different way, you know, um, and uh, kind of change it up a bit so it gives it the appearance of that, okay? Very good. Now, let's do green. Okay. Do the green, give it a nice light little shake. to clean up my plate. Look at me. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Ramen, ramen, ramen. <laughs> all right. All clean. Very good. Let's go in with the green now. And again, just work super quick. Just fast, fast, fast. are the better ones to work with in, in the whole collection. The ones that have the glitter in them are much harder to work with. And drop it down. Just kind of rock it over your nail a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. Well, let's clean off our little stamper. Clean our plate. And let's see what you can do with this tape, right? everywhere but where I want it. There we go. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Oh well. It's getting cute, right? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. up our green. Now what? We have pink, we have blue, we have green. Let's do, oh, let's do purple. Let's do the purple one. Nice light little shake. Open it up. Make sure everything is in line, ready to go. And here we go. 
nice generous amount and just kind of work it down the image into those grooves a little bit not too too much light scrape up. drop it down boom beautiful Are you having fun yet? Because I am having so much fun right now. <laughs> I had a hard time getting myself in here because uh, I just had a case of the blahs today. Anybody else have that? Because I had that today. Just a case of the blahs. I didn't want to get up off the couch. I didn't want to watch TV. I just sat and read most of the day. So, <sighs> gorgeous. All right, let's get that tape going. Let's see what we can get up with the, with the tape. Not too bad. It's coming up a little bit. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I am really super loving this manicure so far. What about you? I hope you do it. I hope you show me because this is just adorable and I'm just having so much fun with this. All right. Oh, sadly, we're coming to the end part. The thumb. It's the last one to do. All right. So I got most of that off. And we'll move on to the thumb, which we're going to do in orange. So again, nice light scrape, scrape, shake. Can't even speak English today. See, that's what happens when you lack human inter interaction, right? All right. Let's do the orange now. So ready. Nice, generous amount and just work it down the plate. Scraper, scrape lightly, pick up quickly, and drop it down. There we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so vibrant. So pretty. Not much to clean up on this one. I almost took up my whole nail. It's too funny. <laughs> All right, let's clean up our plate. And tape. See about getting that open. Not so much. Too bad. Not too bad. Oh my goodness, how adorable is that little manicure right there? Looks like a bunch of paint spilled on my fingers. <laughs> so cute. All right, and that's it, right? Super, super easy. You just gotta work fast. And in all fairness, this image has a lot of blank space. See that? See that blank, a lot of blank space there. So that can go a long way into helping keep your uh, nail polish in the image so that your uh, stamper can pick it up. Uh, so that's pretty much it for all of that. Um, so I'll clean everything all up and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. 
And so we're gonna do a little cleanup. So get out your cleanup brush, get your acetone, put a little acetone in the well of your holder there. And then just clean up around the edges with that over polish off. And the good thing about this stuff is it doesn't smear really bad like some stamping polishes can. So that's a good thing. And we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna do a tiny bit of clean up there. Not too bad. Sorry about the shaky hands. I just had coffee a little while ago. I know, I know. Shame on me. I broke my own rule. See how easy that just comes right off. Now here I used a little bit too much. Just a little bit. So I'm trying to wipe it all out. There we go. Mm -hmm. Very good. And oh, my name in the beds and my cuticles are so dry. I haven't really done a manicure in like a week. So, just been changing my nail polish, doing different little looks, little things with my stampers trying different color combos, seeing what looks good. Oh, I need just a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Come on. There we go. I don't need a whole bunch. Just enough to get my brush wet. And we'll just Pulling up that orange there. There. Very good. All cleaned up. We'll lock our little locking cap. Make sure your brush is nice and dry before you put it away. You don't want the acetone to sit in your brush. It'll eat up your brush. Well, your brush is going to get eat up anyway over time, but I mean, you want to try to make it last as long as you can, you know, even though you can get these at the dollar store for a dollar. And then you can put it away. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now with this type of nail polish, you really don't have to worry as much about it smearing. You do a little bit because the coat is super thin and so that's why it tends to smear, but it, it's a different formula than the uh, um, stamping polish. And so it actually acts more like regular nail polish. So the longer you let this dry on your nails, the less chance you're gonna have of uh, smudging and smearing when you do your top coat. So just FYI, just so you know. All right, and so next we're gonna do our top coat. We're gonna use the LA Colors Quick Dry Fast Drying Top Coat to seal everything in and make it look really nice. So. Cap off the free edge. Very nice. Very good. Almost done. Mm 
And this one's wanting to smear a little because I'm getting a little draggy over here. Ah, where's my paper towel? And don't forget, if you get a little color on the end of your brush, take your paper towel and wipe your brush off on that paper towel so that you can get that color off because you don't want it to mix in with your polish because it'll leave a tint. So, <clears throat> and then the last nail. Again, getting a little draggy. It's a good thing it's a paint splatter motif and a little bit of smearing is not gonna be a big deal, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness for small favors, right? Okay, and that's it. That's all you do. Like I said, we're quick. And as you can see, it took no time at all. This is a much shorter video than the last one. <laughs> so I hope you're having a great day. I love you so, so, so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.